Section 1. A Galaxy Far, Far Away But could it be real? Lightsabers, the iconic weapon of the Jedi and Sith. These elegant weapons of light have captivated audiences for generations. But could we ever build a real lightsaber? The answer, like many things in science, is complicated. To understand the challenges, we need to delve into the science behind lightsabers. We'll explore the nature of plasma, the power of magnetic fields, and the immense energy requirements of such a device. Fasten your seatbelts, science fans, as we journey into the fascinating world of lightsabers and explore the possibility of bringing this science fiction fantasy into reality. Section 2. Plasma, the fourth state of matter. We all know about solids, liquids, and gases. But have you heard of plasma? Plasma is often called the fourth state of matter. It's what happens when you heat a gas so much that its atoms lose some of their electrons, becoming electrically charged. Think of the sun. The sun is essentially a giant ball of hot plasma. Lightning is another example of plasma here on Earth. Plasma is all around us, even if we don't always realize it. Scientists have been studying plasma for decades. We use it in various technologies, like those fancy plasma TVs and those super-hot plasma torches that can cut through metal. Yes, you read that right. Plasma can be incredibly hot and powerful. Section 3. Magnetic Fields, an Invisible Force Now let's talk about magnetic fields. These invisible forces are all around us, yet we often don't notice them in our daily lives. You've probably played with magnets before. Remember how they could stick to your fridge or push each other away? You know they can attract or repel each other even without touching. This fascinating behavior is due to the magnetic fields they generate. That's because magnets create invisible fields around them called magnetic fields. These fields are like invisible lines of force that extend out from the magnet. These fields can interact with electrically charged particles like those found in plasma. Plasma is a state of matter similar to gas but with charged particles. Think of it like an invisible hand that can push and pull on plasma. This interaction can be harnessed in various ways. If we can create a strong enough magnetic field, we might be able to contain and shape plasma much like a lightsaber blade. This concept is both exciting and challenging. This idea of using magnetic fields to contain plasma isn't just science fiction. It's a real scientific endeavor with significant potential. Scientists are experimenting with this right now in nuclear fusion research. They are working tirelessly to make this a reality. They're trying to create miniature suns here on Earth by using powerful magnetic fields to contain and control extremely hot plasma. This could revolutionize energy production. The goal is to generate clean and sustainable energy. If successful, this could provide a nearly limitless source of power for future generations. Section 4. Powering the Plasma Blade Okay, so let's say we could create a blade of plasma and contain it with a magnetic field. There's still one big problem, energy. Lightsabers require an enormous amount of energy to function. Think about it. A lightsaber can cut through almost anything and deflect blaster bolts. That takes a lot of power. We're talking about energy levels far beyond what our current batteries can provide. Some scientists have theorized that a compact fusion reactor could potentially power a lightsaber. After all, fusion is the process that powers the sun. However, fusion technology is still in its early stages of development, and building a reactor small enough to fit in a lightsaber's hilt is a monumental challenge. Section 5. Real-world lightsabers? Not quite. So, where do we stand with real-life lightsabers? The idea of wielding a lightsaber, much like the Jedi in Star Wars, is a dream for many. But how close are we to making this dream a reality? While we've made remarkable progress in plasma physics and magnetic field manipulation, we're still a long way off. The science behind creating a blade of pure energy that can cut through almost anything is incredibly complex. The energy requirements alone are a major hurdle. To generate and sustain a plasma blade, we'd need a portable power source far beyond our current capabilities. However, that doesn't mean we can't draw inspiration from the iconic weapon. Engineers and scientists are constantly looking to science fiction for ideas that can be translated into real-world technology. Remember those plasma torches I mentioned earlier? 
These tools are already in use in various industries and are a testament to the power of plasma. Those are essentially miniaturized plasma jets. They operate at extremely high temperatures and can cut through metal with ease, showcasing the potential of plasma technology. They're not quite lightsabers, but they demonstrate the power and potential of plasma technology. The principles behind these tools could one day lead to more advanced applications. Furthermore, advancements in superconducting materials, which can conduct electricity with zero resistance, could make it easier to generate and control the strong magnetic fields needed to contain plasma. This is a crucial step towards creating a stable plasma blade. So, while a fully functional lightsaber may remain a fantasy for now, the underlying technologies are areas of active research with potential real-world applications. The journey to a real lightsaber is ongoing, and who knows what the future holds. Section 6. The Challenges of Lightsaber Construction Building a lightsaber presents numerous engineering challenges beyond just the power source. The complexity of the design requires a deep understanding of advanced physics and engineering principles. Creating a blade that can extend and retract on command would be incredibly complex. The mechanism must be both reliable and durable, capable of withstanding intense use without failure. You'd need a mechanism to generate the plasma, project it a certain distance, and then retract it safely, all at the flick of a wrist. This requires precise control over the plasma's properties and behavior. Then there's the issue of heat dissipation. Managing the immense heat generated by the plasma blade is crucial to ensure the device's safety and functionality. A lightsaber generates an immense amount of heat. This heat must be effectively managed to prevent damage to the device and ensure the user's safety. Without proper heat shielding, the hilt would become dangerously hot potentially melting the handle or even harming the user. Advanced materials and cooling systems are essential to address this challenge. Furthermore, the interaction of the lightsaber blade with its surroundings would be difficult to manage. The blade's energy must be controlled to prevent unintended damage. A lightsaber that cuts through everything would be incredibly dangerous and impractical. Safety mechanisms must be in place to ensure it can be used without causing unintended harm. You'd need some way to control its cutting power, perhaps by adjusting the plasma temperature or intensity. This level of control would allow for precise and safe operation, making the lightsaber a practical tool rather than a hazardous weapon. Section 7. The Future of Lightsabers – A Distant Hope while a true lightsaber, as depicted in science fiction, remains a distant possibility, the pursuit of such a technology could lead to exciting scientific breakthroughs. Advancements in plasma physics, magnetic field manipulation, and energy storage could have far-reaching applications in various fields, from medicine to manufacturing to energy production. Perhaps one day, we will have technologies that resemble lightsabers in some form or another, but for now, they remain a product of our imagination, inspiring us to push the boundaries of science and technology. So keep dreaming, keep questioning, and who knows what the future holds? The journey of scientific discovery is often more exciting than the destination itself.